All right, so right here, we're looking at these stock resonators. As you can see, both mine were smashed. Um, not real sure what's up with that Ford Motor Company, but y'all ought to look into that. No one wants to have their brand new car with smashed parts on it. Um, I went ahead and uh, took it to the local exhaust shop and told them that I wanted them cut out and I wanted um, a straight pipe put in. As you can see, it's going to be a little rough. There's little baffles in there. Um, it kind of reminds me of a cheese grater. Uh, it slows down and makes the um, exhaust flow. It kind of bounces around in there once it starts hitting those little uh, edges. You can uh, Wikipedia resonator. shows some pretty neat things about what resonators actually do. So those have been removed. And I've had a just a straight piece of pipe put in, in their place. Let's go ahead and take a look underneath the car. What, uh, what that looks like. As you can see here is the jack stands holding up because the long tube headers are being installed. But right there at that jack, let me move this light, there you go. You can see the weld where the stock resonator used to be. And then if you fall right there at that jack stand, just about a few inches before is the weld. And then right down there you can see where the other weld is. And that goes ahead and travels on out to the Flowmaster axle back exhaust. Highly recommended as an add-on for the car as soon as you buy a 2011 or a 2012. Now that they're coming out. Very simple. Um, probably a few hour install on the axle back kit. They now have a full cap back kit. So check that out as well. Alright, thanks for watching. Moving on to the next video.